for uh, coming out here this evening. This is a good crowd. This is a terrific room also. Great acoustics. Um, go read a little bit of a prose poem since uh, we're on the, since Justin started, out, started us out with the theme of family, right? And, uh, of course, that's where we start uh, all these conversations that we don't ever get to conclude and uh, continue on and on. So this one's uh, uh, for my mom. It's called Associated Press. It, uh, it's for uh, my mom, Alice French. And it's, uh, it's one of those poems that has a little bit of technology component to it. And uh, it uh, mentions in here uh, those old dot matrix printers. People have seen or heard of those things, how they would just <laughs> creak and creak, and they would uh, slowly spit out, uh, you know, about 10 minutes to print one page and to print it poorly. You know, so that you can barely even read it anyway. But the, uh, she, she worked as a DJ in, uh, in a radio station in a small town where they had DJs that actually made a lot of decisions uh, about what music was going on, what news was going on, that type of thing. And uh, it would come over the Associated Press, the AP wire, and it would just continually, this, this machine was down there making all this noise, all the sound and fury with not uh, a whole lot of results, I guess, uh, by today's standards. But it was a big deal then, and my mom was in charge of, uh, of selecting that news. So uh, this is the Associated, uh, this poem's called The Associated Press. The AP wire of my childhood rolled back and forth, printing its dot matrix letters on connected scroll paper. In the basement, you could hear the incoming words develop into blocks of sentences. I'd follow my mother around the radio sta station, picking up pennies that the station manager mispitched at the trash cans. Paul Harvey, the rest of the story, regularly interrupted the day. George Strait, John Anderson, Randy Travis repeatedly twanged from the 45s. And down the wooden plank stairs we'd go into the basement like a bomb shelter where the AP, AP spit sentences incessantly on the floor. With red pen and ruler, my mother would stand by the wire and lift paper from the noise. She looked and looked, chopped what would be at the top of the hour. Such power she had. We climb up the creaking stairs to the newsroom, leaving all that language to revise itself, to pick its subject more carefully next time, to come back tomorrow with better news. <laughs>